In this video, I'm going to give you five reasons why it's important for you to identify your calling or life purpose. Hi, Mark Gilbert here. You know, back in 2012, I published a book entitled Be Yourself, Evolving the World Through Personal Empowerment. The gist of the book was this. The earth is at crossroads. The conflict and divisiveness that we see out on the planet these days is evidence of that crossroads. And we're at choice as to where humanity and the planet's headed next. On the one hand, we could continue going down a road of greed and competition, fighting with one another and depleting the Earth's resources until perhaps some sort of global collapse occurred. Or we could choose a higher path, one where we work together to create a world that works for everyone. Of course, I believe we should work towards that better future. And my book offered three keys towards that higher path. One was for humanity to focus more on a common vision. After all, there's power when we all get together and set a common intention. The second key from the book was for us to focus more on how we are alike than on how we're different. Again, using the power of our minds to grow a greater sense of our commonality by spending more time thinking on it. And three, and what's really pertinent for the subject of this video today, is for each of us to identify our life calling and to live it. In fact, much of that book was devoted to helping you identify your calling. But why is identifying your calling important? Getting into this now, I want to offer you five reasons. The first one, when you're focused on living your life purpose, you've moved beyond your life being about meeting basic needs and you're now working on higher, more fulfilling things. Remember Abraham Maslow and his hierarchy. He wrote that when we were focused on meeting the lower needs from physiological up to self-esteem, our motivation was based on filling some kind of hole in our life. We felt that we were lacking in whatever it was that we were chasing after. Maslow called these deficiency needs because we were motivated by that sense of lack or deficiency. But it was only when we were able to transcend these lower needs and focus upon higher things, self as self-actualization or self-transcendence, were we motivated not by a sense of lack, but by a sense of fullness in our lives. We wanted to give to others and life from that sense of fullness. So when you find your calling in life purpose and you're working towards it, your motivation tends to be less about lack and what you're missing, but more about what you're giving and you feel abundant. The second reason for living on life purpose is that once you're focused on it, you tend to be motivated to be more about service to others. It becomes less about you and what you can get and more about what you can give to others in the greater good of all. Hence, you work to create a world that works for all. True success in your life becomes less about accumulating power and wealth and prestige and more about creating your own form of success through sharing your talents and your gifts. And you become a positive change agent. The third reason, it gives direction to your life. You know, many of us tend to feel like we're bouncing around in life. We feel like a pinball and we're getting knocked in different directions. And where we are in this moment, from where we live, to our jobs, to our relationships, and many aspects of our lives feel like they simply came about by happenstance. However, when we feel like we're living on purpose, we feel that we're no longer being blown by the winds of change, but rather we're exercising our will to create the life that we desire. Knowing our purpose helps us to make choices as to what's next in our path. It helps us discern as to what's important for us to do and be and what's not. The fourth reason, it gives our lives a greater sense of meaning. You know, most of us all feel like we got put here for some higher purpose, even if we may not be living it. That feeling tends to nag at us, especially when we're not living on purpose. Events in our life keep pulling us back and reminding us there's something more we need to be doing. When we find ourselves living on purpose, we finally feel like we're living on track with why we're here on Earth. And finally, the fifth reason is it allows you to feel better about this life experience. You feel more in the flow. Things tend to work out better for you. You more easily can see and focus on the good that's around you every day. You've got a greater sense of joy about the experience of life. You have more gratitude for your very existence. 
Work's not about something to resist and dislike, but rather something that's joyful and a gift to you where you can give your gifts and talents. Life simply becomes the best experience that it can be for you as you live in that flow. So there you have it, five good reasons to identify and live your life calling. And when you do, you focus less on fulfilling needs of lack, but more from giving from your fullness. Become motivated to be of service. It gives direction to your life and helps you make choices as to what you want to do and be. It gives a greater sense of meaning to your life and the quality of your life experience is enhanced. You can probably think of other benefits as well, but I think these are enough to encourage you to get moving towards living on purpose if you're not already. Now, if you don't know what your purpose is, then see my videos on that topic. And when you do, isn't it time to make sure that your life is in alignment with that purpose? Thanks for watching. Till next time.